What's the difference between the single L and the double L? What's the difference in the pronunciation? Mm, no difference. No difference. Okay. Now I want you to say the words yourself. Off you go. Little. But I say little. I don't say with the vibration. Let's, let's do it again. Don't worry that, about that yet. We'll look at it in a second. I have okay. a complicated thing which we'll look at in one second. Okay. Little. Little. Light. Light. Laugh. Laugh. Paul. 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 Actually, we'll do them together. Elbow. Elbow. Because we're also, I'm also getting your vowels right here. Okay. Leather. Leather. Bellow. Bellow. Fellow. Fellow. Pillow. Pillow. Small. Small. Fell. Fell. Ball. Ball. Alive. Arrive. Alive. Arrive. Light. Right. Light. Right. Red. Lead. Red. Lead. That's actually changing. It's the wrong way around, isn't it? Look. I wrote this the wrong way around because I've never done this. I don't think I've ever done this with anybody. But I have a course where I compare English to American and that's slightly more complicated, but we'll do that in a second because basically what you're saying is the vibration thing. You think you're talking about the dark L in in in, in, in American. Lead red. Lead red. That could also be L E D. Long wrong. Long wrong. Lamb, ram. Lamb, ram. Glow, grow. Glow, glow. Again. Glow, grow. Elect, erect. Elect, erect. Flagrant, fragrant. Fragrant, fragrant. Fly, fry. Fry, fly. Fly, fry. So let's think. Where's our tongue? Fly. Fly. Fry. Fry. Can you feel the difference? Yes. yes. You got it. It's good. Lice. Lice. Rice. Rice. Okay. I am completely happy with your L. And I'm completely happy with your English R, which is not like the big Spanish R, which is a different, bigger sound. What we're going to look at now is something we've never looked at, which is also on here. You have this. And we will look at these symbols in the standard Spanish for the L. And we will look at what it is. And it is exactly the same sound. So this is? Labia. And in English, it's lab. 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 With so a it's no difference because I listen the difference. Within it's it. no difference between the Spanish L and um, the English L. But I That's listen to I listen a lot of people too. You listen, yes, you, you, or you hear it with a lot of but, people. Yeah, I hear a lot of people, yes. But hang on a second, we haven't finished yet. Okay, so we've just compared it. This is an analysis of the Spanish language and their sounds. So some are the same, some are, some are different. Yeah. And this one is exactly the same. It's the same phonetic symbol. I didn't invent this. This is international, mm -hmm. international phonetic alphabet. It's a standardized thing that everybody says is right. Okay? It's used to analyze all languages. So we've just analyzed Spanish. What you're getting confused with is analyzing American. So let's have a look. Here is a comparison of the English and, pronunci English and Spanish pronunciation. We could do this today. But let's look first at your question on the L, because to have me, you want to be able to say, oh, I don't understand. You know when you don't know something and you can't look it up on the internet and you never know, then you have a doubt and it's, it's, it's bad. Okay? So, tell me this. You read me this to me. If it's the same, I have no issue. List. And lista. lista. Same as Spanish. Same sound. You have no issue. Okay? Now let's go on to General American. Oh, that's RP. We'll go up, we'll go up, it's above. General American, phonetic sounds, shown as changes from received pronunciation. Received pronunciation is standard BBC English, like what I'm teaching you. Lots of the things change. The vowels is all over the place. It's like Mexican vowels. OK? 
Okay, it's a huge study. So if I have to do an American accent or somebody wants to understand, I can show it, but it's super complicated. But let's just look at the L sound. So what happens here? Look, they change. So in Spanish, you have the same as in English. They change. They have this L that's like half crossed out. This is called the dark L. Mm. So instead of saying last, they'll say like last, last. You're also hearing that another thing with the people who are American or influenced by American speakers is that their vowels are different. They go back more in the throat. So what you're hearing, yes, you're hearing the vibration because it's coming more from the throat. An English person speaks more with their mouth and the American person like speaks more from down here and from the throat, depending on the speaker. So they'll go last. No, it's at the end of the word when I say that it has Paul. the pronunciation. So yeah, I would say Paul and they'll say like Paul. Holy. Paul and it's vibration, but okay, maybe. So this is what you're hearing. It's the, it's the little, for example. It's a good example. Little. Little. No, there's a little and with vibration at the end. Maybe little. it's not because of the L, it's because of the R, it's because of the vowel, vowel I don't know. But it, I'm not able to pronounce like. Certain people. Yeah. If you have any specific famous person who is doing this thing that maybe you're not able to totally analyze what they're doing but there's something there that you're not recognizing you send me the video okay. on the whatsapp I will and check. i will look at the person and i will analyze what they're doing and i will, I will check. try and clarify this confusion in your brain for you because because it's, it's not nice not only once i listen i listen very often and it's like i know how doing that uh, with the S and the Z, I, I recognize by everywhere now. Open your computer to the internet. However, I don't. With the L, it's not. And open, go to the Google and type in Cambridge Dictionary. But that's okay, we don't need to do it now. Otherwise, we're just, not going to do anything. But what I, want to, what I want to do is just to show you on the internet... Uh, uh, examples of this so we can be clear about what English people are doing and what Americans are doing because What's on Cambridge? Cambridge. Cambridge English Dictionary then type in let's type in little into the dictionary and you have the useful button I think is in the Cambridge below each word which you can press and normally it has the English on the left and the American on the right and you can press for the pronunciation of both both language sounds if it's a language or dialect, accent, whatever you like. 